So hi everyone, uh, today we are going to learn some of the basic things about IDA Statica software. So currently I am in Norway and I have been doing a lot of structural calculations things. So for that uh, we are using IDA Statica software. So basically IDA Statica is like the best engineering software for the structural design and code checks of steel connections and concrete as per euro code or AISC or other national codes so guys let us start so at first you have to install the IDA Statica software uh, or if you have a student uh, account then I think you can download it, download it as a trial version from the Google the trial version will last for 30 days and not 30 but 14 days so after you download and install it so just open the IDA Statica software so we can see that uh, it is used for steel, concrete and BIM so since uh, I am mostly into the steel things right now so let us start with the steel and then we can see that we can do connection member checkout connection light viewer or anything on so at first we need to go to the connection So once you open your connection then we can see that there are so many different options like a class geometry and there are some pre-made designs so if you are doing some designs according to or that is like somewhat similar to these things then you can also choose any one from here otherwise you can simply click on any one of this one and then start doing your designs so for today uh, it is just for the introduction topic so I am just gonna go with some basics so here you can just give your name of the project descriptions and steel grade maybe you, you want to change your steel grade so if you just click on this tab right here then you can get like a lot of steel grades from here yes 275 so you can choose your steel grade according to your project so okay descriptions and then bolt assembly so if you are gonna use knot and bolts so there are several bolt grids and bolt assembly and you can choose any one of them depending on your project so concrete grid you can choose any one of them it's fine and design code so you can see that it is based on euro code american canada australia india china so you can choose any country for the design of your structure so finally let us do create project so since we choose like one of the model that is already available on that <coughs> screen so our model looks like this so let me first start with the things so project is the things so if we click on the project what we can do is like just give some name and you don't have to write anything on this one or you already have the project like here so you don't have to do anything else but if you want to like do several project at once then you can just do this otherwise you can just skip it and the most important thing is design so whatever we do comes under the design approach so design is just like uh, designing a new thing from the scratch so and then checking after designing then we can do the checking since we are under the European code so we can do the checking as per the euro code and it will give suppose yeah I can and then also we can create a good report and this will give a complete detailed report based on what you choose and also it will give some information about the materials so as you can see members this will give information about the members like a B and C from here like as you can see here are some tabs that you can use to select suppose if you choose this one then you can 
rotate it like this so these are just used for rotating and you can see the perspective view so these are just for viewing the items and plates is like if you click the plates then it will give the individual information about the plate so this is top flange this is wave one this is bottom flange flange one similarly here so it will give some detailed information about the plates information and lcs is local coordinate system so you can see that this is z axis this is x axis and this is y axis so you can understand by simply looking at it if you want to see the coordinates and also so after after doing the designing in one of the most important thing is here so member is like addition of members so if we click this one then we can see that our member em3 has been added so and here the orange thing represents our member but we don't need this one so we can delete simply delete it just by right clicking on this one and delete so for if you this one is used for designing a complete new member and then after that you need to after you finish your design you need to give load to the member like here this is like a pre-assigned model so we can see the loads so if you can see here also there are two members c and b so this is our c member and this is our b member and if we click on load then we can see that on the c member the load has been assigned like this and on the b member the load has been assigned it like this so once you assign the load here it it will get assigned to your members automatically from here and here so you can do it like this and then operations is like suppose if you want to do if you want to add like this plate stiffening plate or if you want to do add this weldings or anything uh, if you click on this one then we can see a lot of operations that you can do for your chosen member so let me close this one so after that uh, after your after you have designed your model then what you can do is we need to check whether our model is okay or not so just go to calculate and then it will and then here you can see that our analysis is performed our plate is okay but the weld this is not okay so what we can do is if this shows like it is not okay then what we can do is we need to go back to the design and then maybe then we have to choose either we have to reduce the load or we have to increase the thickness of welding and then from here like a cut two because we can see in this part this one is not responding properly so what we can do is we can just increase increase our welding thickness and then after we do that then we can just uh, run the analysis and it might work in the new one so let us check now we can see everything is okay and then after that what we can do is like uh, we can press check and in the check we can see like equivalent stress plastic strain stress in the contact region we can also see the mesh and deformed shape like this so you can check anything you want from these things and since we our analysis is okay so if we choose our welding dimensions and everything as per the given one then it will be fine and after that you can create a report so just go to the report and then here you can 
to select like everything like this 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 what do you want in your report and then after that after selecting from these things just go to generate then we can see our report has been generated like this so guys uh, since this is just uh, the intro video so I just want to go through all of these things surfacely so that you can know what really the software is and how can we utilize this in order to check our model as per several codes so on the next video I will teach you like uh, how to make an actual model based on the site and then check the whether the model is according to the euro code and if all the all the analysis is passed then we can use the actual model for our designing purpose anyway guys thanks for watching if you like this video then please do subscribe and then i am going to make some more interesting videos on the upcoming days anyway guys thank you and have a good time bye